So I'm going to take the sequence word problem notes and I'm actually going to break it up into two videos. Uh, so this first video I'm going to go through questions 1, 2, and 3 and see if we can't figure out some of these problems. All right, first question. First thing you should do with any word problem, read it, annotate it. So mark it up so you know what is being asked, you know what information is given, everything. All right, the seats at Braden Auditorium at Illinois State University are arranged so that there are 20 seats in the first row, 25 seats in the second row, 30 seats, so forth. Okay, there are 30 rows in the first level of the auditorium and 20 more rows on the top level. The pattern continues from the bottom level to the top. How many seats are in the last row? And that's where I'm going to stop right here, and that's what I want to find first. So if I want to know how many seats are in the last row, a couple things I want to make note of for myself. U sub 1 is 20. That's how many seats are in the first row. These, this number of seats per row is changing by five seats each time, right? 20, 25, 30, 35, so forth. So my D value is five. And I also know there are a total of 50 rows. 30 rows in the first level, 20 more rows in the top level. So how many seats are in the last row? So what I'm asking for is U sub 50 is equal to what? So let's set that up. My first term plus n is 50 minus 1 times d is 5. Throw that all into a handy dandy calculator and you should get 265. So how many seats are in the last row? 265 seats. All right. So now that we've got the first question, there was an additional question of how many total seats are there? Now, could you write out all 50 numbers? Sure. Could you then take all 50 numbers and put them in your calculator? Sure. Is it possible you might make a mistake? Absolutely. So <laughs> instead of writing out 50 numbers, instead of adding up 50 numbers that way, I'm going to use the partial sum for an arithmetic sequence. So what I'm looking for is, whoop, let's try again in pen here. I'm looking for the sum of 50. All right, so 50 rows divided by 2. Now remember, it's your first row in this case. So 20 plus your last row, which would be 265. Again, big fan of using my calculator when I can, which for you guys is this entire unit. All right. <laughs> So the total number of seats in the entire auditorium, 7,125 seats. All right, arithmetic sequence, you knew a lot of information about it, and it's just figuring out how to use those various formulas we've talked about. All right, let's talk about number two here. One of my uh, favorite Looney Tunes characters here. Uh, Wiley Coyote is wearing a pair of Acme rollerblades. This is not going to end well. And chasing Roadrunner down the street. He covers three feet in the first second, six feet in the second second, 12 feet in the third second. So let's see, three, six, 12. That's a geometric sequence with a common ratio of two. Right, three times two is six, six times two is 12, keeps on going. All right, if an anvil, see, I told you this wasn't gonna end well, if an anvil falls on Wiley's head at the end of 12 seconds, how far to coast before getting a massive headache? All right, so let's do the how far did he coast? So how far he coasted is our total distance. Okay, so what did he cover? The first second, the second second, and the third second all added up. So that means, uh, let me get a little bit of information here. So u sub 1 is equal to 3. I know my common ratio. I know my n value is 12, okay, because 12 seconds. So if I want to know the total of how many feet he covered overall, that's going to be the sum 
of n equals 1 to 12, remember 12 is where we're ending, of u sub n is equal to u sub 1 times 1 minus, oh, let me actually fill in the right information here, uh, 1 minus r to the 12th over 1 minus, oh, I keep putting r there, that's supposed to be a 2. Okay, and this is just using that summation uh, formula from what we have talked about last week in class. So if you are decent with your calculator and you can put this whole thing in at once, put it in. If you're not certain, don't take a chance. I've seen way too many problems happen with those negatives. So break it up in pieces. Take 1 minus 2 to the 12th, figure out what that is. 1 minus 2, you guys know what that is. All right, divide those out and then take your answer and multiply it times 3. When you do that, you should get quite a large distance here. Feet. Okay, so that's 12,285 feet, which if you know anything about um, how many feet there are in a mile, I think that's a little bit under two miles. And two miles in 12 seconds seems a little ridiculous, but it's a cartoon, so we're going to go with it. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a secondary question in this problem, which is asking how many feet did he cover in just the last second? So if you're just wondering what happens in the last second, you would be looking for the u sub 12 term. And so we're going to use the um, explicit definition for a geometric sequence to find that 12th term. So that's going to take my first term times my common difference, raise it to the n minus 1 power. Again, throw it in a calculator. I'm going to keep telling you that a lot of times here. So last second he covered 6,144 feet. And then he got whacked with an anvil. All right. So geometric sequence, make sure you're using the right formulas in the right places. All right, last question for this video, which is question number three here. Again, every time you see an equation, uh, let's try to get in English, anytime you see a word problem, uh, annotate it, mark it up, make it be yours so you understand the information. All right, so Randy accepted jobs, accepts a job which pays him 75000 the first year with an increase of 3000 each year after. Uh, what will uh, Randy's salary be at the end of 20 years? So I'm going to stop right there and figure out that part of it. So I know u sub 1 is equal to 75000 I know we have a difference, common difference of 3000 And I know I have an n value here of 20. So it works at the same place for 20 years. All right, so let's find u sub uh, 20 here. So u sub 20 is equal to u sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Whoops, lost a zero there. There's a big difference between a $300 raise and a $3,000 raise, I promise. All right. So after working for 20 years at the same place, $3,000 increase every single year, he is going to make $132,000. Okay. There is a secondary question here. So when Randy retired after a long career, more than 20 years, all right, his final year's salary was Hundred and eighty nine thousand and he had earned a total of five million one hundred and forty eight thousand in this job. How many years did he work at this job? There are two ways to determine this answer. The first way is just to work with this number right here the actual amount he made in his last year. And the way you can do that is using this exact same formula, but instead of u sub 20, we're just going to use that 189 
thousand. Okay, we know what he started with. Now, what we're looking for is our n value. So I'm going to put n minus one, and then that would be three thousand. So if I solve this, let's see what I need to do. I need to take one hundred eighty-nine thousand minus seventy-five thousand. That's going to get me a hundred and fourteen thousand is equal to n minus 1 times 3,000. I'm going to divide both sides by 3,000. And that gets me 38 is equal to n minus 1. So add 1 to both sides, and I now know that he worked for 39 years at that company. But why did I give you this information about the 5 million? Because there's a secondary way to solve this. It really just depends on what you see when you read the problem. The other way to do this would be to say, well, if I know his total for every year that he worked, I could take that amount. Let me make sure I get all my zeros. One, two, three. Okay. So that's his partial sum for working I don't know how many years. I'm going to run out of space here if I try this, but I'll try it. Um, I know what he started with, 75,000. I know what he ended with, 189,000. And now I can solve for n. So either way you do this, whether you do this work in red, you're going to get 39. If you do this work in orange, you're going to get 39. Do I care which? No. I'm going to be looking at you guys that it took, he worked there for 39 years. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. If you want to, and I would recommend it, take a look at the next couple of questions, give them a shot, annotate them up, and then get into the video, the next video, and watch to see how they're solved. All right. Hope this helped.